had the home, Miami Gardens, definitely different from Coral Gables. Just the housing alone, you don't see a lot of people walking, a lot of kids just outside. Sometimes you wonder where their parents are. But hey, sure enough, it's home. The best part about being home, I say, is the atmosphere, the love. Home, to me, is a place of protection a place of love. The company, the comfort, the uplifter. A place of unity, a place where you could be free to be who you are. Okay, here's some more pictures back here of Mr. TJ as a baby. Just the fact that I could be me and leave football, you know, at the University of Miami. I could just be TJ. That's the best part about being home. It's a blessing every time I see him. He adds so much life and so much joy to my home. My niece, when I see her, she instantly brings joy. I don't know, something about her smile. Just, you know, it could change my whole mood. I know his joy is his family, his loved ones. Like, a lot of times he just come on, he said, I just want to be home. I just want to be around my family. Family means everything to me because I feel like they're my backbone. You know, when times get hard, those are the people, you know, who I go to for comfort, for support. Um, you know, they've been with me when I wasn't playing, when I was playing. Everything that I am today is because of them. He hadn't gotten a lot of opportunities, you know, based on whatever, you know, injuries or just his situation as a student athlete here. So he was a guy that just didn't have a lot of confidence in himself. I think he knew what he could do, but he just hadn't done it in so long, he felt like he kind of lost the mojo or the, the magic that comes with being a skilled player. When I first got here, he was considered kind of uh, an introvert or a recluse, so to speak. I was always quiet. Didn't talk much. But then when you get to know him, he's got this brilliant smile. He's got an incredible smile, a very heartwarming smile. And we would just always say to him, you know, smile more, you know, and be happy and, and, and have a great attitude about the opportunity that you have today. In the spring, I became more vocal because, you know, I felt like I had a fresh start. Um, I was around the same guys, but the environment changed for some reason. Um, with the new coaching staff, I felt comfortable. I could be me. Ultimately, it's incumbent upon the young man, the student athlete, in this case, Tommy, to say, okay, what choices have I been making? Well, how has my attitude uh, been towards the program and my skill development? And then ultimately, what do I need to change? I tried to set a little peek, they were running straight at me. I had to stick with it. Um, my parents did a great job of supporting, reassuring me that looking at the situation in a positive light instead of getting down on myself, to look at the situation as, you know, that I'm a, a big time playmaker. I just need an opportunity, and you know, that's the approach I took to the situation. From the day we got here till today, he's working harder every single day to maximize his ability. He just really bought into everything that Coach Golden has tried to, to bring here. The thing that we got to see, and we're not doing a good job, I got to do a better job of it, is that we got to see the rotation, see the safety coming down. My coaching staff pushing me in the springtime, waking up 5.30, 6 o'clock, sometimes before UTUF, watching film with Coach McDonald to see what happens. If we get him, just pin him in there. If you're going to be a great receiver, you have to pin in extra time on your own. And I think that's something that he's done is, you know, he, he stays after to catch balls. He comes early to catch balls. He watches more tape. And I think he takes this more serious than he's ever taken it before. Coach McDonald, he does a great job of, you know, challenging me day in and day out. And if I don't make a play in practice, to finish on the note where I do make the play, you know, I, I rep that play or run that route. Um, numerous of times and um, to the point where I'm comfortable in it. If you want to capture uh, the essence of his development and how his confidence developed, go back to Maryland and watch him catch the ball against his body and then watch each successive game how he starts to trust his hands. He trusts his hands in Ohio State. He throws for Streeter. It's caught at the 20. He catches a ball up here against Kansas State. Harris to the end zone. Caught touchdown. Tommy Streeter. He catches a back pad on the sideline against North Carolina. Harris throwing deep down the sideline. It is caught by Streeter. Did he hold on? Yes, yes, he did. I guess North Carolina was kind of a breakout game for him. And then all of a sudden, as it happens in Miami all the time, you know, it takes on a persona of its own. Harris to Tommy Streeter. Touchdown, Tommy Streeter. And all of a sudden, you know, touchdown, Tommy Streeter, or stretch him out, Streeter. And then I, I immediately said to him, like on Tuesday of that week, wait a minute, your name is Thomas. And we're calling you Thomas, okay? 
uh, because the same guy that worked really hard to get these results needs to remain the same. I remember at the time where I was peaking and um, getting better each week. And one thing that stuck with me, he sent an email to me and Coach McDonald. I was afraid of it taking on a life of its own and him forgetting you know, what really got him to this point. So I thought a poem by Kipling called If uh, would be appropriate and, and would apply to that. If you can trust yourself when all men doubt you, but make allowance for their doubting too. You know, I think he understood exactly what it meant. You gotta maintain that focus because it's very easy to get caught up in, you know, things that's in the newspaper. If you can dream and not make dreams your master, if you can think and not make thoughts your aim, if you can meet with triumph and disaster and treat those two imposters just the same. I think that quote really sums it up. You have to learn to, to, to treat triumph and tragedy uh, the same and, uh, and just and it's ultimately it's the process that endures. You have to reassure yourself and, and know your purpose that you know the journey you've only come halfway you haven't completed this journey. When it comes to I guess my son because of the type of personality he has he don't really do well to the hollering and screaming. He does well or does better when you have a coach that can speak a positive word that can touch your spirit and allow that spirit to change and to be uplifted and to say, you know what, I can do this. He responds better to the upliftment of this is what you can do as opposed to always saying, you know, this is what you're not doing. And that doesn't mean uh, withholding the truth. I think kids want an honest assessment and they want to know where they're at. I yelled on the sideline after a touchdown because it wasn't the right thing. You can't freelance. You made a play, but you can't do that. All right? Come on. As long as you give them the plan. In other words, don't give feedback or negative reinforcement, but not pro provide a, a plan for them to move forward. And I think that's what, uh, in this case, George does really well, and I think our, our coaches do really well. Seeing him have success on the field is such a blessing to me, to be able to look and see where he has come from, see where his hard work is paying off. Touchdown Miami! What a catch by Tommy Streeter! I feel like my success has been a testimony to you know, everything I've, I've gone through. Um, just me keeping my faith and not getting down on myself. So it's just, to me, a great big blessing to be able to see that smile on his face and know that he's doing something that he loves. Having a new, co new coach in this instance, somebody uh, that believed in him like George has and like Jed has, and, and, and of course the young man's willingness uh, to embrace uh, the new challenges and, and uh, uh, the new way of doing things has ultimately led to his success. Harris on a play kick, he's going to throw the ball deep for Thomas Streeter. That ball that he got to the other night, I, I didn't know if he was going to catch up to that ball. He ran a, uh, a seam read and he's running down the field and the ball's in front of him and he reaches out and catches it with his hands. It's out there, he's got it at the 40, at the 30, down to the 25 yard line. He's honoring the process. The same process that delivered him this success, he's now honoring. And uh, I think it's a great lesson for our whole team, our whole organization. At the Virginia game, I was kind of down because I felt like I could have made that last play. For Streeter, it is off his fingertips. Oh. Off his fingertips, he had it and couldn't bring it down. In the end zone with nine seconds to go. You know, I had to put that behind me and, um, you know, my, my family was there to support me. And, um, you know, my niece, you know, her smiling just picked my spirits up. That's the encouraging part of it, to know that you have a family and you do have a support group behind you. Having your family close cuts to reality pretty quickly. I think in, in this case, as disappointed as he was in the final outcome, I think uh, any moment that you can have with your family uh, and your nieces is a moment to cherish. Having that support system around him, especially what he's been through, I think that's really helped him the most and I think that keeps encouraging him because I think he understands how special it is to finally have some success on the athletic field at the University of Miami and then have his family there to be able to support him and to keep encouraging them to, to continue. Ever since I've been here, um, you know, my family's been there. Whether I was playing or not, um, they've been in the same position. They welcomed me after the game. Um, they always been there with open arms and smiles, just consoling me, whether I'm playing or not, um, congratulating me on victories and um, picking me up after losses. You know, that's nothing that's gonna change with them. You know, we have a strong family and um, I love them.